One critical factor for SEO and to ensure that your website shows up on the first page of Google is your site's speed. You can accomplish a blazing fast website through a series of WordPress plugins, and that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. But before we do that, I want to demonstrate the power of these plugins that we're going to install. They're all free, so don't worry about that. The best tool to use to gauge your website speed is Google PageSpeed Insights. To do that, just type it into Google. It's going to be the first link here. And the website URL that we want to test, um, let's just pick one here, nine surprising facts about Smack Serial. So we're going to go ahead and copy that URL and paste it in and go ahead and analyze that. Okay, now after a couple seconds, you'll see that we have a fairly terrible website speed. It looks like, um, I'm not actually sure what all these mean, but we have 5.5 seconds for the speed index, time to interactive, 12.1 seconds. That's a long time. I think I've heard a statistic before that if people wait more than two seconds, they're gonna probably leave your web page and go somewhere else. So this is a problem that we can fix, like I said, through a series of WordPress plugins. So let's go back to our WordPress website, go into the WordPress dashboard, and we'll start installing some plugins. Now, like we did in the previous tutorial, we can add a new plugin through the plugins, add a new section here on the left-hand side. And the first plugin we want to install is the W3 Total Cache plugin. So go ahead and search for that. It's right up here in the top left-hand corner by Frederick Towns. So we're going to install that right now. Once that's done, we can activate it. And just a quick explanation of what this plugin does, it reduces your page load time by caching your web pages. Each individual web page is cached, which is really good. And if you're not familiar with the concept of caching, it's simply just storing your web pages in a way that allows for faster future serving. So the cool thing about this plugin is once you install it, I guess other than clicking this accept button up here, you don't have to enable any of these settings. It's out of the box working for us, so there's no configuration necessary. So let's go back to our plugins, add new, and the next plugin we want to install is the EWWW, the three W's, Image Optimizer. Again, it's at the top left corner by exactly www. Go ahead and click install now, and when that's done, we can activate it like we did with the previous plugin. And similar to the last plugin, there's really no configuration necessary. All of these defaults are just fine for our use. It's actively working. And as the name of the plugin implies, this plugin optimizes your images on your web pages. So instead of loading, you know, a two megabyte image that you uploaded to your WordPress website, it's going to compress that down into a format that's lossless, meaning that it looks exactly the same and it just comes in a much smaller file size. So that allows your images to be sent across the internet in a much quicker speed, therefore reducing the time it takes a page to load on your website. Up here it says new images uploaded to the media library will be optimized automatically, but if you have existing images, you can use the bulk optimize tool. Since I've already written a couple of blog posts, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly go through this bulk optimizer just in case you're in the same boat as me. So all we have to do here is click on scan for unoptimized images and it found 74 images ready to optimize, so we'll go ahead and start optimizing. And rather than waiting the minute or two for all those images to optimize, I went ahead and fast forward it for you guys. You can see here what the image optimizer does. It actually creates multiple different sizes of each image. So depending on whether you're using a cell phone with a small image screen or a laptop with a big image screen, it can show the appropriate size image, therefore reducing the size of the file that's sent across the internet. So that's about it for that plugin. Let's move on to the next plugin. So like before, go to plugins, add new. This time we're going to be installing something called auto optimize. I think that's how you say it. It's like auto and then optimize. So I guess it's auto optimize. Anyway, up here in the left hand corner by Frank Goosens, Goosens, by Frank Goosens. Like before, install now. And once that's done, click on activate. In our plugin list, we can see that Optimize is here, so click on Settings, and this one has minimal configuration. You only have to click on Optimize JavaScript code, Optimize CSS code, and Optimize HTML code. Now, what this actually does is uses a process called minification, and minification is simply getting rid of unnecessary or redundant code without changing its behavior. In addition to that, it removes a bunch of white space. If that doesn't make sense, I think an example will help. So let's go to Serial Guru and look at the page source. So this is what is actually going on behind each web page. You have a bunch of source code with all this 
what looks like seemingly nonsense, but it's actually properly formatted with tabs and spaces. What the plugin that we just installed does is gets rid of all this white space in the HTML page and all the other JavaScript pages and like this compresses it into something that is basically not human readable. And the point again is to reduce the file size of each individual file that's being sent across the internet. So that's in essence what that plugin does. Just those three configurations and we're good to go. All right, let's go to the number four plugin. So go there and click on add new. The name of this plugin is called A3 Lazy Load. And like before, yet again, install now. Once that's done, we can click on activate. The A3 Lazy Load plugin will really help your site speed, especially if you have a lot of images on your pages. What it does is instead of loading all the images on a web page when the page is clicked on, when the page initially loads, what this plugin does is actually loads only the ones that are visible or nearly visible to the users. As before, there are actually no configuration settings that we have to check here. These are all enabled by default and that's perfect for us. So let's look at how this plugin works. So when we go to Serial Guru, we'll see that our page loads. And if you saw real quickly, there are some spinners right there. That was the lazy load plugin kicking in. But let's go to a page where there's content off the screen. For example, this blog post here. And if you scroll down really quickly, we can see as the images are coming into the view of the website, they'll start to be retrieved from the server. So let's go ahead and scroll down and you'll see there you go. There's a spinner. That image is just appearing as it's coming into view. And there's another example of the video doing the same exact thing. And finally, this last box to serial. Okay, let's get out of there and install our last plugin. So as usual, go to plugins, add new. This time we're going to be installing something called WP Disable, but it's hard to find. So we're going to type in the company name. It's called optimization.io, as you can see here. The, the name of the plugin is this big chunk of text right here, but when it's installed, you'll see on the uh, left-hand side under plugins, you'll see it's installed as WP Disable. So let's go ahead and install that right now. And when that's done, click on activate like usual. And like I said, you'll see WP disabled down here at the bottom. So let's click on open settings. And here's the dashboard for this plugin. Now this plugin has a little bit of a different approach than the other plugins. It actually goes through and disables features that you probably aren't using. So the settings that I enabled for this plugin are disabling emojis, disabling Google Maps, removing the jQuery migrate, disabling referral spam, loading Google fonts asynchronously, loading font awesome asynchronously, and disabling dash icons. On the next tab here for tags, we are going to click these last four options here. Go ahead and save that. And at this point we have all the plugins enabled that we need to for a fast WordPress website. So before we test our page speed, let's just go back to our website and make sure that everything's working properly. It seems to be loading fast. Uh, we'll just check out one blog post here. And yeah, everything looks good. So back to PageSpeed Insights. If you remember from before, we had a pretty terrible score of 49 out of 100. So let's go ahead and reanalyze this page. And after 10 or so seconds, you'll see that we have scored a 95 out of 100. That's in the zone that Google considers really good. It's green, only five points off of perfect. And if we look at these numbers now, they are much better. We got all greens except for this max potential first input delay, which I'm not sure what that means. But the thing that's most important is that our website is loading much faster on mobile devices than it was before. We can do the same thing for desktop and we have a 98 out of 100. So that's just great. I've written a blog post about these WordPress plugins for optimal site speed. If you want to check that out, I have that link below. And as always, if you have any questions about optimizing your site speed, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.